Okay, good afternoon and welcome. Uh, we're, we're here to acknowledge, actually it's an award ceremony for our students' creativity in discussing a, a real issue, teen dating violence. And um, they expressed a message um, in addition to teenage dating violence, also human trafficking as well. Um, we have create, creative young adults sitting here this afternoon, amazing young adults who have taken the time to share this message through different platforms. And um, we're proud because the people amongst us have been recognized and awarded in competition against other Ulster County students. So I want to express my congratulations to our students here for all your contributions, whether it was through multimedia and or posters. Um, and at this time, I would also then like to present to you our superintendent, Ms. Wiles, who will have a few words. And from there, we'll then introduce Sarah Kramer, who works for the Senior Crime Victims. Uh, she's a counselor for Ulster County. At this time, let's welcome our superintendent, Ms. Wiles. I guess it's good afternoon, everybody. How's it going today? Yeah, good. Good. So it's good. So it's really good because we're here today recognizing all of your hard work. Um, I just want to do a couple of shout outs to um, Ms. Sarah Kramer Harrison. Mr. Iacocci just came in. He's our commissioner um, in Ulster County, our county executive office, uh, Pat Ryan, who really enables you know, these stakeholders really enable opportunities like this for students. Of course, I am most proud of Ellenville and our students here and the initiative that you've put forth to even enter into the competition is huge. For the help of Mr. Butler and Mr. Lubezki and the resources of the studio, I'm really proud that we have really exceeded expectations and, and you all have won awards for these companies. I just want to really thank you for getting involved. I know over the last two years, it's been challenging to stay involved, right? And so happy you got all those personal devices and cell phones and such to make videos that really will help get this message of teen dating violence and human trafficking out, especially on the human trafficking side. People don't realize it, as we spoke about that, it does happen in Ulster County, and, and just that you have your voice in raising that land. So I really want to thank you very much. And congratulate you for all of your hard work and the recognitions you have. Going to Chief. introduce Chief Nutrition. He's also our school board president. We're really lucky to have him. So there was a lot of there, Michael. <laughs> adios. I'm going to say adios. <laughs> say congratulations to all of you. Uh, the best thing that I heard when I heard this up at the Ulster County Chiefs meeting was that we smoked Saugerty, so you know, we took all the categories of Saugerty, so congratulations to all And that was the best news. I was able to look at the Chief from up there, uh, Joe Sinagra, and say, hey, you can't top anything. Um, but seriously, uh, teen dating violence is just like, um, probably my voice is off, but uh, teen, da teen dating violence is a, a problem that faces uh, not just Ulster County, but is a nationwide uh, problem as well. So domestic violence in its entirety is a problem that has to, that's been on the forefront and has to be recognized. In Ellenville alone, we handled 185 domestic violence cases just in the last year. Uh, that's number two in the county next to the city of Kingston. So, the fact that you guys went out, did this, um, made a, make people aware. And awareness is key. Awareness is, plays a major part in whether we uh, choose to do something or whether we choose not to do something. So we're so thankful that uh, we have you guys behind making people aware, bringing this topic to the forefront, especially with human trafficking. Um, it does happen. Uh, the worst thing that we could say is that these things don't happen here. We have to be aware and have to continue awareness. So thank you guys. Congratulations to all of you. 
uh, continue to go out into the world. Uh, are all you seniors here? No? Oh, we got, uh, what we got, junior? we got a mixture here, junior? Junior, sophomore. And a sophomore, right? So we do have a couple more years where you guys can continue to, uh, yes. you know, uh, bring this to the forefront and also uh, make these, uh, make them a little proud. So those of you that are seniors, go out into the world, make a difference. Don't ask, a, the only question that you can ask that's not a dumb one is the one that you don't ask. Uh, so continue to go out there, make a difference, be proud, and always remember where you came from. You came from Ellenville. Be proud of Ellenville and go out and make a difference. Again, congratulations. Thank you. you guys, great. This time back. Testing one, two. Can you hear me? All right. This time I would like to also acknowledge uh, folks that are here this afternoon with us. Our Deputy Superintendent Kelly White. Back. Also Assistant Principal Stacy Hilton. Police Captain Dan Wage. And Asha Gallier, our media specialist. Thank you for also being here. I would like this, uh, to take this opportunity to introduce Mike Iaposhi, Commissioner of the Ulster County Social Services. Let's welcome Mike. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for the invitation to be here. Uh, I very much appreciate it and the chance to meet with all of you. Ellenville has a long-standing reputation of participation in this contest, and your submissions have really been extremely compelling around the subject matter. Uh, I also want to just quickly acknowledge the superintendent's office, the principal's office, the Elmville Police Department, uh, because their participation in this contest has made it possible for me to be here this morning with a colleague from the Crime Victims Assistance Program to be able to present certificates of recognition and share with you uh, the entries that we received. Getting back to the subject matter, which is really the most important part of why we're here this morning and what really drives uh, this event, uh, teen dating violence and human trafficking are very serious subject matters. And you're at a point in your life where you're starting to probably have experiences around becoming familiar uh, with subject matter of this nature and I think the thing that's most incredibly important about it is just your individual awareness and then once you arrive at understanding what it is, how it impacts you, then maybe you can begin to be aware of what's happening around you in your own relationships with your family, your friends, your classmates, um, co-workers, um, you're at that point in your life now where you're going to start to begin to participate in activities and, and have perspectives on issues that are going to affect you for the rest of your life. So uh, that your willingness at this early stage of your life to take on this subject matter and become interested enough to participate in this contest uh, really says a lot about each of you as individuals. It says a lot about your school. It says a lot about your community. Um, you know, again, these are not uh, issues that you necessarily want to have to deal with, but all you have to do is look at the 24-hour news cycle and see what's going on in, in the world, in, in our state, um, in our county, to know that you know, the reality is is that being aware and prepared to how you're going to react is really going to make the difference for you. So thank you again so much for being here. Um, I would like to introduce Sarah Kramer Harrison. She is with our Crime Victims Assistance Program. And Sarah works with a program that is really there for everybody in our community. So I wanted to give her the opportunity to talk a little bit about that. Sarah? Thank you. Um, so I'm at Crime Victims. and. About 60% of the people that we work with have experienced domestic violence. That's a lot of people. There's well over 1,000 people per year. And um, to have your voices be a part of these conversations is so vital to, to changing the dynamics and changing the way we interact with people. Because every time you're creating one of these projects, you're learning more, you're growing more, and hopefully your relationships 
um, become healthier because of the conversations that you're having. And you know, we all experience a lot of things in our lives, and just having that awareness to be able to self-reflect on like what behaviors am I contributing? What behaviors am I experiencing, and how is that affecting me, um, or affecting others? Because these are, it's, it's important, and it creates connection in a different way. Um, so I get the pleasure of being the chair or co-chair on the Teen Dating Violence uh, and mix, uh, Human Trafficking Mixed Media Contest. And I'd also like to introduce Ashley Brown, who is a part of that uh, committee as well. And um, it takes a team of us to come together to be able to offer this contest. And I also would like to recognize the police chiefs because they're the ones that fund this. Um, and whether you know or not, first, second, and third place come with awards. So some of you may be leaving with some gift cards today, as will your teacher. Um, Mr. Lukaszewski will also receive gift cards. So I'd like to play some of the videos and show the Mixed Media Awards, uh, the, the top three winning, um, uh, oh my gosh. Entries. Yeah, entries, entries, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Thank you. So we'll start with the videos. Maddie and Byron have been dating since 8th grade. They are currently dating today in 12th grade and have been recently experiencing problems. As long as they have been together, they have been drifting apart from each other. If you and your partner are getting into heated arguments constantly, you may need some space. Because if you don't, it could get physical and someone could get hurt. If your partner is not communicating with you and your relationship is unhealthy, it may be time to give up on the relationship. You should begin to see if your partner is losing interest and not showing you attention because it can affect your relationship. If you're communicating in a hurtful or threatening way, you're in an abusive relationship. Know when it's time to walk away and prevent mental and physical harm to yourself or the ones you once cared for. So that was the first place entry. Um, hey, Claire. Hey, hi. Sorry. Oh, that's so cute. And that was from here in Ellenville. So we'll get out to get to handing the awards out in a little bit. This is the second place entry from Socrates. Did you think they gave you that? Yeah, he did. He just said this out of the blue. He's so sweet. Oh, Lord. Oh, um, me and Lily are going to the basketball game later. Would you want to come? Oh, oh, I would, but me and David are hanging out later. Oh, okay. Um, you know, we just haven't hung out in a while, but we definitely should, though. Oh, I know. It's just me and David have been hanging out so much lately, but we definitely should. All right, see ya. Bye. Are you guys going to Ryan's party this weekend? Um, I don't think that's such a good idea. Why not? It would be fun. Why do you want to get out and say this like a slut? What? I'm joking. Gosh, you're so dramatic. That was harsh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Me and Lily were going to go shopping later. Would you want to come? Oh, I would, but David said I shouldn't hang out with Lily anymore. What do you mean? You guys have been best friends for years. It's just way too controlling and nosy. Are you okay? You're just gonna drop your best friend for some boy? I'm fine. David has been nothing but kind to me, unlike you two. Stay out of it! I just realized it's kind of getting tight, though. Um, so, how did you your class? I got an 87. An 87? It was a really hard test. You know how hard I said. Okay, why are you talking like that? We're done. Hey, hey. So, how did you do on your test? I got an 82. Oh, that's great. You studied really hard. Hmm. Yeah, but he broke up with me yesterday. It's 
that like the third time this week? Yeah, I guess. Are you okay? I'm fine. Actually, I'm not, but I don't really know what to do about it. It's okay, we can figure it out together. So the third uh, prize also went to Saugerties. Uh, if you notice, Saugerties took extended time in their videos. Um, in terms of the the uh, like the, the guidelines in which we assess, um, it is to be within like 30 to 60 seconds. So that was accounted for within the grading. But it's also interesting to see that deeper dive into these conversations than 60 seconds allows. So. Um, in that last one, I particularly like the way that uh, the individual that's offering support really waits for the individual to be ready for that support and then steps in instead of trying to dictate to her what she should be doing to get out of this relationship. And that really is when the most success happens in terms of leaving because it's self-directed. Just like when we're dealing with addiction and other uh, types of things, um, when, when the person's ready, that's when it's most effective in the um, So we'll go on to the third video. <laughs> nice to have a conversation on human trafficking because we weren't doing that before and so to have videos and um, different flyers that are 
focusing on that is really, it's a nice next step in the development of this contest. So I think, um, can we hand out some awards? Great. And I'd also like to recognize that Ashley is also at SUNY Ulster. And SUNY Ulster, do you want to say something? I'm sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Ashley. I'm a social worker and a mental health provider at SUNY Ulster. Is anybody here planning on going to SUNY Ulster? Oh, great. Yeah. You can come by and see me if you'd like. Um, if you want to talk more about these very important issues. Um, I was invited to be on this coalition a few months ago and to be here today, and I'm just so impressed um, by all of you, just so moved by these videos and posters. Um, and Ellenville holds a special place in my heart. I used to work in the Trudy Farber Resnick building for about 10 years in the mental health clinic. Um, and just really, really honored to be here and look at the many people who took time to share with you how important your work and these these issues are. So, um, on behalf of SUNY Ulster, just brought some goodie bags um, for anybody, everybody um, to take home with you. There's some there's a water bottle in there and a little handy knapsack. Info about SUNY Ulster. Um, so, congratulations and thanks for having me. I get the fun part of handing out the certificates and I always like to let people know how much the award was just to kind of talk it up a little bit because they're pretty pretty decent awards. So um, the prize is a $210 gift card and this is uh, the San DJ McCone. And Asan not only took first place in the video contest, but also in the mixed media contest. And we had an interesting scenario this year because your school gave in mixed media projects for teen dating violence and human trafficking. Um, so we awarded with the highest award you qualified for. Um, but this year we actually had the top two recipients uh, really taking the first two places in mixed media. So. Desan had uh, two of the top mixed media uh, flyers, and um, congratulations, you've Thank got you. the <laughs> so, so this is a $160 award, and this is Vera Yadia. had the next two highest in the mixed media categories. So we gave you the, the highest one you qualified for. So this is an award for $105, and it's for Radamas Moreno. Yes. OK, and these are certificates of recognition, Aaron Abrams. I ought to say too that in um, Saugerties I said that if your name gets called and you really don't feel like coming up, you don't necessarily have to because I won't know if you're here or not. But you know, it's, everybody has their own level of comfort with that. So this is uh, Yvonne Campbell. is Jacob Churchill. Congratulations. Next is Julia Connor. Um, Michael Doria. is Devon Douglas. Next 
next is Cameron Jamil. Jason Kinsey. Paige Manning. Christopher Morales. Alexander Pauly. Uh, Madison Grandazzo. Justin Richmond. Jose Zagoradio. Gabrika Sobara. Uh, Mackenzie Stuffin. Aiden Turpening. Avon Vega. And Jacob Wright. And lastly, I'd like to invite uh, Mr. Babone up here to uh, receive the gift certificates for Mr. Lukaszewski um, when you participate and you win. Uh, part of what is given is gift cards for the teacher to be able to use towards school, towards um, whatever. Um, so we have two $100 gift certificates, a $75 gift certificate, and a $50 gift certificate. All right, don't let Mr. L know that I got the gift. <laughs> we didn't hear that. We didn't hear that. No, just wanted to congratulate you all with your creativity and, you know, your voices being heard with a powerful message. Thank you once again. I don't know if there's anything else. We want to also thank our guests here for taking time out of their schedule to recognize our students. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that everyone? All right. Oh, thank you guys. Thanks again.